Stip to contend congressional races 2018 election Walters, the only woman in California's GOP congressional delegation, endorses Young Kim, who's considered to be one of the frontrunners to replace it. Repeat Royce in CA 39 HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash WBXTK 27 P 4K. Christine Myduck at C Medu, May 15, 2018. Natasha Alexenko of Natasha's Justice Project speaks in favor of more timely testing of rape kits in Sacramento on Tuesday. Jasmine Ulloa, Los Angeles Times Less than a month after police arrested a man suspected of being the Golden State Killer, one of California's most prolific serial rapists, state lawmakers in Sacramento on Tuesday said they want to ensure all sexual assault kits are counted and swiftly tested. Under a bill by Sen. Connie Leva, DiCino, law enforcement agencies would have to submit rape kits to crime labs within 20 days of their collection, and labs would have no more than 120 days to test them. Another bill by Assemblyman David Chu, D. San Francisco, would require a statewide audit of all untested exams. Funding has been a major hurdle for similar proposals in the past. At least half a dozen bills that have died or been vetoed over the last decade would have required law enforcement to tackle backlogs and speed up the examination process for survivors. Abortion rights supporters rally outside a Colorado Planned Parenthood facility. Brennan Lindsley, Associated Press, a coalition of 19 states led by California filed papers Tuesday in support of efforts to block the Trump administration from reducing access to some family planning programs, according to California Eddy. General Xavier Becerra, the states filed an amicus brief in U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia supporting a lawsuit filed by multiple Planned Parenthood branches asking for a preliminary injunction. The Planned Parenthood branches want to block a proposal by the federal government to change the requirements for Title X, which provides some 4 million uninsured and underinsured people, including a million Californians, with family planning services, Becerra said. The Trump administration action threatens funding for birth control, sexually transmitted disease testing, breast and cervical cancer screenings, and infertility treatment, according to the legal challenge. It was an iconic image, Phyllis Leone and Del Martin, longtime partners and lesbian activists, embracing after being wed in San Francisco City Hall. The first same-sex couple in the country to receive a marriage license was joined by city officials and advocates choked with emotion, but not the man who set their nuptials in motion, Gavin Newsom. Weeks before the June 5 primary, the race for California Attorney General has incumbent Xavier Becerra and Insurance Commissioner Dave Jones trading jabs over campaign contributions as the Democrats prepare for a possible showdown in November. Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn, Wally Scalage, Los Angeles Times, Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn, who lost the Democratic nomination for Lieutenant Governor to Gavin Newsom in 2010, on Monday endorsed her formal political rival for governor. I've watched Gavin's leadership as San Francisco mayor and as California's Lieutenant Governor, Hahn said in a statement released by the Newsom campaign. I know that he will apply these experiences and skill sets to ensure that California continues to lead the nation and the world on issues ranging from workers' rights and women's rights, to immigrants' rights, environmental rights, health care rights and educational rights. Hahn, who previously served in Congress and on the Los Angeles City Council, was a frontrunner in the 2010 race for lieutenant governor when Newsom jumped into the race. Newsom had been running for governor but bowed out after it became clear that current Governor Jerry Brown was jumping into the race. After a discussion of man-made waves at a site in the Central Valley, and fans of skateboarding and baseball lamenting the bill, the California Assembly voted 60-3 to, to make surfing the official sport of California. I am stoked, says it as Moratsuchi as he speaks in support of his.
Of course, he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt on the floor right now. John Myers, at John Myers, May 14, 2018 California voters have seen a barrage of sunny television ads in recent weeks touting former Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa's record on finances, crime and education, aired by families. Governor Jerry Brown is massaging the final state budget of his long career, and his no. One priority is simple, don't leave his successor the same mess he did the last time. In this file photo, Amato Nanalanguach is basketball games while making bets at a sports book in Las Vegas, John Locker, AP, just hours after the U.S. Supreme Court opened the door for states to legalize sports betting, Assemblyman Adam Gray, Deemer said, on Monday said he would pursue a state constitutional amendment that, if approved by the voters, would allow the wagering in California. The decision by the Supreme Court affirms that the choice to legalize sports wagering is one for the states to make for themselves. The ball is in our court, Gray said in a statement, the state constitution currently prohibits sports wagering, but Gray last year introduced a placeholder bill, Assembly Constitutional Amendment 18, in anticipation of the Supreme Court striking down the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act. The bill requires a two-thirds approval in the state legislature to be placed on the ballot as early as November, where it would require a majority vote of approval.